crazy already and we're not even at the top. What's it like up there, Brad? Here's like a big globe thing where everyone gets all their pits. Hello guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you're not new here. If you are new, make sure you hit subscribe because these are going to be some very exciting vlogs. We are currently in LA for the first time ever. We've never been anywhere in the States to be fair. Um, but we're here basically for Coachella. We're going to weekend two. So we've had a week here before and then we're obviously going to go to the festival. So I think they're probably going to be like separate vlogs because I feel like there's going to be a lot to cram into this. But we have already been here a couple of days. We've had a little bit of like a roller coaster for a couple of days. Let's just say that, shall we? Basically, we got here on the first day and we had a really nice like time. We kind of just like checked into our hotel. Basically, our plan when we first booked this was to go somewhere else. Like as soon as we landed, we were going to go to Malibu for a couple of nights, but it is so expensive and I didn't realize that. Like, I don't know whether it's because Coachella is happening as well. I feel like all the prices have gone up, but it was crazy money. So I actually ended up booking somewhere else in LA. We're kind of like downtown, so we're like probably in the city. We arrived here quite late, so we just like went to bed on the first night. And then on our second day, we got up and had like a little stroll around. We went to like this big market and had a really nice breakfast. One of the best decaf iced lattes I've ever had in my life. What was that place called? GB Coffee, Coffee yeah. I think they're all over the States, but it was honestly like insane. Um, so yeah, we had a super chilled first day and then I was so excited to try Chipotle. Never tried it before, I hear everybody talk about it. And we took a little stroll in the evening and went and got some. And I honestly feel like such a fool because I literally posted on my story like, just a happy girl and her Chipotle. Like I was saying to Brad, I was like, can you take a picture of me with this down the street? Like it's so American and like loving my life. And then 2 a.m. rolls around and poor Brad over there has been so ill for the last like 24 hours. I think he just, well, we had food poisoning basically. And I have since had so many messages on Instagram of people saying like, that's what Chipotle does to you. Like, I literally can't believe how much of a thing it is. So if you want to try Chipotle, just be careful. I was absolutely fine. The only difference we had, like we had everything the same, but Brad had a salad and I had a burrito. So it must've been something in the salad. I don't really know, but yeah, apparently it's quite a common thing, which we didn't know before we, Got super excited about trying it but she just had like a couple of days of just completely chilling and it's currently 6 30 in the morning i think we've been up since five because jet lag is a real thing it means we're having really early starts and honestly falling asleep by like 9 p.m so we need to try and sort that out but yeah it's half six in the morning so we're actually going to go on a hike today because like i say brad is feeling better but we want to be like out in the fresh air and yeah i haven't done a hike yet so i'm excited about this i think we're gonna go to basically like beverly hills way like i said we are downtown so we need to kind of drive out a bit but i've just seen this really nice trail that i see basically everybody do so i want to go there and see like the views and stuff we'll probably get some brunch around that area as well and then we're going to come back to the hotel and we've got like a rooftop pool here so we'll probably spend the rest of the day just kind of chilling and yeah obviously i'm going to bring you guys along also the first hotel that we stayed in was called the freehand i wasn't obsessed with it it was quite a lot of money for what it was i felt like the rooftop pool was really really nice but the rooms themselves weren't like the best ever but we've now checked into the hoxton which is literally five minutes away from there but this hotel is so gorgeous excuse the mess because we have just kind of unpacked but i'm not gonna lie this is the only wardrobe space you get and we have two massive cases so yeah not ideal but we have a little bathroom in here well i say little it's actually huge um i'm actually just gonna throw up some pictures on screen of what this looks like because i did take some pictures before we threw our stuff all around the room but we also have such a nice view out of all of the windows of like downtown LA. So yeah, we're gonna call an Uber now, head downstairs and go on this hike. We've made it just about. We got a bit lost. I think we basically went to go and visit someone's house at one point. Oh, just admiring my uh, future house in Hollywood. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> this is crazy. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I'm out of breath already. And we've just started. <laughs> we also just looked at the board and we look like such tourists that like everyone comes here and just walks their dogs. We were just like staring at the map trying to work out what was what, but 
we're just gonna see how it goes. Also, that sign was like, make sure you bring plenty of water. Um, this is crazy already, and we're not even at the top. So that's where we're staying, like downtown. And this is the hills. Stun. There's so many cute dogs here. Um, we just stopped for a sec at a little bench. I feel like the air is really thin up here, or that's what I'm telling myself because I literally can't catch my breath. Either that or I'm so unfit, it's not going to. I think we're about halfway there. Um, we'll probably take a couple more stops because oh, Buddy's just behind me. He was just taking a picture of a um, like camper van that they have up here or like a caravan. And I think you can rent it out and it has literally like, the best view. We're just like sticking to this paved path because I think you can go up places like this but I don't really fancy getting lost today so <laughs> we're sticking to this road I think we'll probably turn back in a minute um, and then it'll be like a nice 5k walk so yeah it's so nice like it doesn't feel real which is saying to Brad like especially where we live in Norfolk there's like not even a hill let alone anything like this so it just feels really surreal I don't know how well you guys can see but look at these views the Hollywood sign is over there as well I don't think you can see it because it's really quite far over there, but I know. back to the hotel i would have inserted some clips but i didn't want to take my camera because we obviously went on a big old hike it was so nice by the way like if you are i think in anywhere in america like there's hikes everywhere we did like 5k and it was just a really nice way to start our day so yeah we're now back we are gonna spend the rest of the day by the pool so just thrown on this bikini which is actually from Paul Moir. i need to shoot some content in it but i really love it it's just got like these high-waisted bottoms and then this really cute little bikini top i've also got these on which are from because of alice um but yeah we were like west hollywood way i think and we also went for brunch at the butcher the baker the cappuccino maker i think it's called which i know a lot of people go to you've probably seen like your favorite instagrammers there i think a lot of celebs go there and then we actually took a little show down to the oppenheim group um office if you guys watch selling sunset you know exactly what i'm talking about you actually can't see anything in there the windows are fully blacked out and i don't know if that's because of like the TV show obviously because I feel like they just have cameras in the window when they're literally trying to work so obviously it's like a working office but yeah you can't see anything in there um so it wasn't too interesting but I literally just went onto my Instagram and I saw that Aish was in exactly the same spot her and Jack are here at the same time as us but we are kind of like staying two different ends of LA but we do have dinner plans with them in the week which would be so nice but it was just so funny because i was like oh my god we've literally just left there like we must have been two minutes away from each other but yeah we're gonna go up to the rooftop see what the pool is like and just have a really chilled rest of our day Thank you. That's a medium, by the way. 
She said, do you want a large? And I saw those cups and I was like, I don't think you'll survive if you drink a large coffee. So we've just woken up this morning and we've come to a cafe. I feel like ever since I was a kid, like Pinterest days, I've always wanted to try this place. So we've come to the one that's like on Beverly Hills Drive because we're gonna go to Rodeo Drive and do a bit of shopping this morning and just kind of explore around this area because we're obviously like in a completely different part of LA. And this area is so, so nice. It's just obviously a little bit more expensive, so it depends where you kind of want to stay, but there's all sorts of shops here. We're just gonna have a bit of a look around, but yeah, we're at Earth Cafe right now. I have got an orange juice and an iced tea. Brad has currently got a pistachio croissant and a latte. And then I ordered a breakfast burrito, side of hash browns, and Brad got some oat milk, so porridge. <laughs> Banana and nuts. Hi guys, I haven't picked up the camera for quite a while and I'm very quickly realizing that this vlog is gonna be all over the place, but we're about to go and do something fun. So I think just prepare yourself for like a vlog that is gonna be a bit here, there and everywhere, but hopefully everything we're doing that you guys will see, you might be interested in. Like we're about to go and watch the ice hockey. Um, we've booked a couple of things that we're actually going to the baseball tomorrow. Just like super American things that we just wouldn't be able to do at home. We wanted to experience a couple of them. So I thought I would bring you guys along to this. Today we've just had a shopping day. Like we literally went to a mall that I think was basically Westfields. So we just went to like Zara, H&M, basically all the things we do at home. But we're still on the hunt for Coachella outfits and I'm kind of struggling, but we did manage to pick up a few things. So. Yeah, I felt like today wasn't overly interesting, but like I say, this evening hopefully should be really fun. So we're about to go and jump on some electric scooters to get ourselves there because it's at the Crypto, crypto Stadium. Com arena. So if you're interested in crypto, your boyfriend in the back is interested in crypto, then I don't know, maybe you can tell us some facts. <laughs> I don't know. Crypto. But yeah, that's where we're about to go. Crypto. Can you pay in crypto there? Should be able to. Like actually, yeah, I'm sure you would. It would make sense, wouldn't it? Give it a go. Yeah, that's what we're about to do. Um, I think we're gonna get some food there. These are our outfits of the day. I'm literally it's wearing what I wore yesterday. It's gonna be icy. What we want to be warm. Oh, yeah. I thought you meant the arena's gonna be warm. I've got Brad's jumper on, and then these trousers which I wore yesterday, which are Manier de Bois. What are you wearing? My Vans, high top Vans. Sorry. What was All that? Saints <laughs> jeans. Zara and hoodie. Zara t-shirt and Zara hoodie. Cute. So we're going to head off. Um, I'll pop you guys in my bag and show you what we get up to. But like I said, just prepare yourself for an all over the place vlog.
it is a new day. We had the nicest time last night. I would have inserted some clips of the ice hockey. It was so fun. Like, if you come to America, you have to go. Yeah, it was kind of carnage. Like, they have full on fights, which I didn't quite realize. I thought that was I all on TV. Condemn. But it's a real <laughs> thing. It's literally just like you see on TV, which might sound so stupid, but I've just not seen it in person before. But I actually really, really enjoyed it. We spent the whole evening there. Um, had a couple of beers and then came back to the room and literally just passed out and went to sleep because we were so tired. But we've woken up this morning, we've just got back from breakfast. We actually went to the hotel next door, which is the proper hotel, which I think is a similar price to this, but it looks really, really nice. I think it's quite new. Um, but we just went to like the Mexican restaurant downstairs and it was honestly lovely. I think they have a rooftop restaurant, they've got a rooftop pool and stuff. So yeah, this area of hotels is actually really quite nice and like this area is a little bit nicer than proper downtown today we have the baseball so we are just chilling by the pool at the moment i don't think i showed you guys this the other day but this is the rooftop pool at the hoxton the pool is also heated which is nice because at the freehand it was freezing cold like we actually didn't go in because it was too cold but we're just gonna sit and chill here for like an hour or so i'm gonna post some stories and then we're gonna make our way over to the dodgers stadium and I think spend pretty much the whole day watching the baseball. But then I suppose we've got this evening. Two hours. Yeah, I think it's on for like three hours and then... Finish by about four-ish. Go for some dinner after that. Uh, yeah, uh, we'll just head back there. Yeah. And have, we're gonna go to Birdie's, uh, like a fried chicken. Oh yeah, the Brad's found like a... It's like a donut shop, isn't it? Well, it's fried chicken and donuts. Sounds good. <laughs> Sounds like American. Sounds like a heart attack. <laughs> morning we have come to Santa Monica this morning so we want a bit of a beach day but we've actually come back to an earth cafe to try something else because the menu here is so big um, and we really enjoyed it last time so I've got a basically a toasty with prosciutto and cheese Brad has got a sausage and potato omelette and the biggest coffee I've ever seen in my life I don't think you can actually like gauge how big this is on camera but it's huge. We've also got blueberry muffin and then I've got another iced tea because this is my favourite drink that we've found so far. We're going to make our way over to the beach once we finish this. So I'll bring you guys with. We've never been like this side, but I know there's like Venice Beach, Santa Monica Beach. There's like piers that we can go to. So I think there's a lot that we have on the list to see. So I think we'll be on Monday.
of us watching videos today. We went out last night with Sid, Mole, and obviously Jack and I. She went to Hatch, which was so nice. Highly recommend it. It's a little bit more pricey, but it is like so worth it. The food is amazing. The whole experience and everything, like it's a really cool vibe. But yeah, this morning we were thought we were to come and do a little theme park. So we've come to Universal Studios and we're only at the entrance and it already looks a little bit crazy, but we're actually just waiting for the guys um, to arrive and then we're gonna go in and get some food and stuff and probably not go on that many rides because I think some of us are feeling a little bit worse for wear this morning. We were out until like 2 a.m. And when I say every other night that we've been here, we have literally been like passed out by 9 p.m. So it felt like a lot last time. Oh God, that missed. Where are the, uh... I know, there's loads of people dressed up. And fun fact, when Mole last came here, we keep taking the makeup out of her because she was dressed up in like a Harry Potter clothes and Anna Bond and everything. She said last night that it wasn't until she got to the gift shop, but I begged to differ. I reckon she walks around this whole place in her little cape with her wand. This is the entrance. You guys have probably seen this, like, sorry, there's so much noise. I've seen this so many times like, on my favorite YouTube channels and it just feels so surreal to actually be here and like see it in person. But this place is huge, like literally huge. Here's like the big globe thing where everyone gets all their pics. Um, and then yeah, I think we're gonna go through there and do like the studio tours and stuff. It's gonna be really cool. So I will make sure I properly vlog today because I know I've been so rubbish so far, but I've just been honestly enjoying myself way too much and I've been putting a lot on my Instagram. So like always, there will be highlights if you wanna go back and have a look at those. Guys. <laughs> this is where Harry gets his first one. This it? is where Harry goes invisible and he walks through the snow. <laughs> oh my god, clue what you're talking about. What's this? That's not the best Oh, that's it. That's the Weasley Brothers joke shop. I think we should get a cue for a ride. They get expelled from school and they make a joke shop. Okay. There is a Harry Potter ride here, isn't there? You always should get a queue for one time. Honey, do you Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> What's it like up there, Brad? <laughs> <laughs> if you don't have a pair, if you don't have a pair, just wait. Your hand like this, we'll get one here. Um, okay, so that's a camera.
agree. If I sing over it, we will get copyright. I actually don't think I would. I think it helps. Hello, everyone. First we, your books or watch your way. We're leaving. The bed was finished strong and was there for a lot. I'm just not oh. like, yeah. going to dance. <laughs> Day, we've had day. honestly the best day. A lot of it was queuing, but it's actually been quite fun. We've learned a lot about each other. We won on every single one. These guys were really scared and like didn't go on any. Talk about family, with family's all that we got. Everything I went through was standing there by my side. This is a sad song. This is my granddad's funeral song about the rap. I don't even know why. That's emotional. Oh, we are walking to get picked up by an Uber. And then we're picking up baby Mila and then we're Mila. going for a hike. A hike. sunrise? Sunset. 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 Hike. Our last group LA sunset. I know. Oh wow. That's so sad. I can't believe we've like all been here at the same time. We've only spent like three days together. Well to be fair, like the whole time that we've all been here at the same time we've spent every second together. Which has been great. We're really walking in sync too right now. Are we? Yeah. Wow, I think we're spending a bit too much time together. <laughs> Where are we now? This is called City Walk. Wow, I'm enjoying it. I do want to crack. Can't lie, anyone else want to crack? Oh. I said I'm more than happy I've had the best day. It's so hard to vlog with him. Like this. Have you had a good day? Dash cam. Yeah, yeah really me do. Show you what Brad looks like to me. <laughs> this is Brad from my high. This is Emily from my high. Mom took a picture earlier. Because she's so small. Like, this is my little friend. I'm a, she's so I'm a small. Whole foot a whole taller foot taller. Yeah. Ready? And I was like, what do you see me as from your height? Brad from These my are the height. <laughs> <laughs> that is awful. Like, that is not okay. I'm never going to speak to you again from like this place. You have to stay over there. We have made it. We have come back to Runyon Canyon Park, which me and Brad actually came to on our second morning here, or our third morning here, I think. Um, and we just come for like a sunset hike. We have just realized that the sun is literally setting like over this way. It's literally over the other side of the mountain, but it's fine. It still looks stunning up here. We just hiked with the baby, so it was like even more exercise. Brad had her on his front for a little while, but obviously it's like an extra weight. So he's got a little workout in today, which is quite nice. See it help the guys out, but it is so influences in the wild. <laughs> um, it is stunning up here, like especially at sunset because we came here at sunrise. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna sit here, watch the sunset, and then I think head back down and grab some dinner, which will also be super nice. Ugh. How you feeling? <laughs> Good little workout. Practice. Back. Good practice. Yeah. <laughs> this is the view. Like how crazy is this? If I zoom in, hopefully you guys can see a little bit better. You can just see for miles up here. We've also only come to the halfway points. So you can go up a little bit higher than this. Like there's people all the way up here. But obviously it was like a bit of a workout. It's still very warm today as well. So we just come to the halfway point. But you can see the Hollywood sign from here as well, which is kind of cool. I just love these houses. Do you know what I keep trying to find? Ace Family's house. Where Do you reckon the new one's over here? Yeah. It's in the hills. No, they've moved, haven't they? Yeah, yeah. Oh, have they? Yeah, they moved. Oh. Smile, Mills. <gasps> Yay! Oh, she's happy, girl. You did it. You did such a good job. Did you all walk in? Yeah, smashed it. I see it, Ducky. It's a sweaty back. Sweaty up a little alert. Sweaty up a little alert, Sula. Yeah. 
Yeah, true. Are you selling? Yeah. They're building one over there, Brad. Little wooden one. Little wooden number. <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Hello guys, I am jumping on the end here. I'm obviously back home. I just wanted to kind of round off these vlogs and just really quickly jump in as well to say like, if you're still here, thank you so much for watching to the end, but also to give you a little bit of an update because I know I have not been on YouTube for what feels like forever and I definitely haven't been like uploading consistently, which breaks my heart, but I just wanted to briefly update you. Like there is a lot going on in life right now. Like there's a lot of changes happening that I promise I will fill you guys in on, but I just, I feel like everything is a little bit up in the air and I feel like I've made the mistake in the past of just putting a lot online or like decisions we're making at a certain time like I've kind of told you guys about them and then plans completely change and I feel like it just makes it a little bit irrelevant to your lives and probably a little bit annoying I don't know maybe I'm completely overthinking it but I feel like our lives change a lot and instead of just updating you real time and it just all getting very confusing because it's kind of confusing for me right now as well so trying to explain it to you guys and make it make sense I feel like I literally can't so once everything is a little bit more settled and kind of set in stone I promise I'm going to do a massive updates video I want to just like sit down with a cup of tea or a glass of wine and just fill you in basically have like a big old catch up because I feel like we are long overdue but anyway just wanted to say thanks so much for watching this video. I honestly couldn't be more in love with LA. I just, the whole thing, the place, obviously the people we were out there with, we were missing a few gang members, but we are all gonna have to do a massive trip so soon because I miss it already. I absolutely loved it. The one regret I do have is kind of where we stayed. I wouldn't stay downtown again. Um, I would definitely stay like Hollywood, Beverly Hills area just because it was a lot nicer. Um, there was a lot more to do as well. I feel like we were constantly finding ourselves going that way. So that is one tip I would say if you're thinking of like staying downtown. If you do want to stay downtown, the Hoxton was honestly so nice um, and I would recommend staying there if you're in that area. But yeah, that is the only regret that I have. It's not even a regret. That's the only thing that I would take away from this trip um, and do a little bit differently next time. But loved LA like the hype is real I don't think it's overrated at all I was obsessed with it but like I mentioned at the start of the vlog I am literally right now going to go and sort out my Instagram highlights so if you want to go back and see like everything I posted over Instagram over the two weeks that we were in LA then definitely go and check out my page I'll leave my Instagram on screen here um go and give me a follow and yeah, you'll be able to see everything that we got up to. That being said, I hope you enjoyed this travel style of vlog. I will have so many more of these coming your way very soon. That is one little update that I need to chat to you about. But yeah, this is the start of like a lot of traveling that we're gonna have going on on the channel. So let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you wanna kind of see from them, what you maybe did and didn't like of this video. I'm always open to feedback. I'm gonna leave this video here and hopefully I'll speak to you very soon in my next one. Bye guys.